I shall speed is probably one of the most interesting people on the internet. So our mission is to make the hardest I shall speed game there is. A lot of struggles are in front of us, let's put it that way. The first thing we did was obviously creating the Unity project, but what is the game plan looking like? What is the genius game mechanic we will implement? We will have I shall speed running, because... I'm black! I'm black! I'm black! There will be three lanes he can run on, and obstacles or enemies will try to stop him, and you can obviously control him as the player. Most important thing, a prototype. So we did that really quickly. Don't ask why we made the square black. We implemented the basic mechanics, so changing lanes with the arrow keys, and we have our first enemy, the red square. What is a game without a lot of enemies? So we had to add a spawner to our game. The original game plan was that speed will run and obstacles will be there on its way. But a much simpler way to code it is that the enemy actually comes to speed and he just stays still. In the end it will look like he's running though, so it doesn't really matter. The first try of spawning enemies didn't work. Why? Don't ask us. But the second try did the trick. We just forgot to call the function again after the spawn. The next step is to work on the enemies coming towards us. But while doing that, Unity just shut down. But it is what it is. The genius people we are, we did figure it out though, by using the rigid body velocity. Every time we fix a problem, there was a new one. When implementing the game over mechanic, instead of the game being over, the spawner just turned off for some reason. So we just ignored that for now and made this beautiful game over screen. After some coding, some clicking, some headbanging, you can finally die. In game, in game. This is not just a regular game. Okay, it is, but we want to make it difficult. We had some fun with the enemy speed and the enemy spawner. Okay, we might have gotten a little distracted. All right, let us explain the algorithm for the nerds that want to know. The difficulty of the game is supposed to increase over time, and we do that by reducing the time it takes for an enemy to spawn, so the spawn delay. It goes from one second spawn delay all the way down to 0.3 seconds after one minute of playing time. And past that, the difficulty stays stagnant. The difference between one second and 0.3 seconds spawn delay should be evenly spread in that one minute playing time, where the game gets increasingly harder. Looking for the fact that that will make the game increasingly harder, we had to take one minute and divide it with x, and the result is obviously 0.7. Doing that, we get the factor of 85.014. The same algorithm is used for the enemy speed, so they get increasingly fast as well. After every single person just clicked off, we added a very cool scoring system. I mean, we want to see who gets the highest score, right? We also added some cool power-ups, but they're just green blocks for now. We didn't tell you, but we were simultaneously working on the graphics. We tried to add our first graphic for the power-ups. Did it work? No. But yeah, we have a football because... What the fuck is that? And we got fireworks because... After some smashing of the keyboard, we did get it to work. You can shoot the football and kill an enemy in game. The triangle looking thing is supposed to represent the crypto he promoted, which didn't really go well. That thing will make you invincible for a small amount of time, and the fireworks increase the spawn delay so you get a small reset. And the grand reveal speed. As you can tell, he's wearing a Messi jersey because Messi's the GOAT! The animation process was a little challenging, he does look like someone struggling to walk. Respectfully ignoring that, we added Mr. Beast as the first enemy. Why? Because of this. And Ronaldo as his enemy, because Messi's the go- and Ronaldo does a floss if you couldn't tell. The last enemy is going to be Ben. Speed and Ben have a very deep past relationship, so he had to be in there as well. But this version of Ben just didn't look right, so he got deleted. We added a background and we got a new Ben who's now in the style of our game. The game looks pretty good so far. To add some nice touches, we added some animation for the power-ups and some sound effects. This game was supposed to be the hardest I shall speed game there is. To achieve that, we upped the difficulty by quite a lot. And here it is, the hardest I shall speed game ever. And because there's no other I shall speed game, it is the world record holder. Click on this video to see us make Mr. Beast and subscribe.